Hey you guys, it's uh, Accountability Kathy here. So I went to my doctor today and told her everything that was going on. And her result or her answer to all those problems that I was having was to put me on a new antidepressant, even though it was antidepressants that caused the problems. I don't get it. I don't get why they want to fight situations with antidepressants. I'm not depressed. I'm sick. It frustrates me to know beyond that that's like a lot of the doctors answer is to just medicate you medication for this medication for that like <sighs> at least I know that the CT scan came back fine so there's nothing wrong with my brain like that I've had a headache for the past three days, though, and every time I move, it takes all of my energy from me, and my head feels like it has static in it, like it's just going, it's, uh, I can't concentrate, it's very hard to take care of myself and uh, the only other answer to my problem would have been to admit myself into a mental hospital for a psych evaluation so I'm not really getting anywhere I'm not I don't need to go to a psych, to a mental hospital for a psych evaluation. I don't know. It's, uh, I feel like I just keep hitting brick walls. So either take these medications and be an outpatient or admit yourself into like for like a 72 hour evaluation. I'm frustrated. Yeah, I'm really frustrated. Maybe the evaluation would be good. I don't know. I don't know. I know that it's been like four months of this. And I'm not really living. I don't even know if I'm surviving. I hate crying because I feel <laughs> I feel weak when I cry and I feel like I feel like my daughter's starting to resent me. For things that I have absolutely no control over. And some part inside of me is like, well, 
defiant. Like, whatever. If you want to hate me for something that I can't control, then so be it. It's a cycle of just playing over and over again. I thought I was better. They don't tell you a side effect from medication is more depression. I thought I was better. It always seems like I go two steps forward and three steps backwards and have to claw my way back to being fine again. I don't want to live like this. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I was so sick earlier. All I could do was like just lie on the bathroom floor for like an hour. And I have nobody. Like, I have nobody. Nobody ever stops by to check in. Nobody calls to check in. Disturbed. Yes, I've pushed everybody away and now that they're gone, I can't cry because I have nobody. It's just the whole purpose of pushing everybody away. had to take my hair out because I couldn't handle it up anymore. It hurt my head so bad. Then I just couldn't stand it. Like, I laid here in absolute agony with my pain in my head, just like throbbing. And somebody's told me to, like, get, get, like, a mold test done or some kind of mold test. I had a really hard time getting my doctor to believe me that I wasn't right in the head. And, like, they want you to go to work like that? You tell people that you're homicidal. And you're supposed to go work out in the public? No, it doesn't work like that. Mental people don't can't work. I wish I could work. I wish that I could go back like... 10 years ago to when I was a visual merchandiser and worked building stores and putting together department stores and I just take me back to those days I was a heavy drug user and I feel better then than what I am now you know not the drugs that are out there now not fentanyl not opiates <sighs> drink your water and stay hydrated and say your prayers my daughter asked me one time how come you don't live in a house like Aunt Tammy lives in and I was like, the, uh, 
because Aunt Tammy is not sick like I am in the head. And Tammy has a boyfriend who helps her. Somebody that shares responsibilities with household responsibilities, bill responsibilities, parenting responsibilities. All that shit was put on to me. And I thought, oh, when my kids are raised, I'll only be like 45. I'll still have, you know, like all this time left. I don't want to live the rest of my life having like rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia and depression and bipolar tendencies and feeling schizophrenic and wanting to, and homicidal, like. Maybe I should check myself in. Maybe I should. I think I'll take the week to think about it. And if I don't feel better after this week, maybe like a 72 psych evaluation would be beneficial. I don't know. I always feel like that's like a... Like saying I can't take care of myself, that's... I never want to come on here and be fake. Like, oh, hey, I'm doing really good. Let's do like an eyeshadow look with me. I had to blow my nose and that can get really messy because of my piercings. Um, I always thought that it was like a failing on my point, you know, like. I'm forgetting how to human admitting defeat like the life is just getting to be too much <sighs> but maybe I can get help there that I'm not getting from here A different set of eyes looking at a situation from a fresh perspective. I don't know. I'd rather have a 72 hour psych evaluation than contemplate my outlook on life and whether or not I should stay in it. Like I feel right now. I don't know. I go see my clinic doctor tomorrow and I'll see what she says maybe. She says that that's a good idea. That maybe I'll ponder that thought a little more. It'll probably put me back in touch with this, with this psychiatrist. The only thing I didn't like about that psychiatrist was that he complimented me on like how I looked and what I was wearing and like I'm a, a victim of child essay and um, that really bothers me when when a man that is supposed to be like taking care of me compliments me on um, my appearance or 
Like, I just don't like shit like that. It always weirds me out. I don't know. As you guys can see. Clearly. I'm only at like. 25% capacity. Um. I was given new meds. I've had them before, but I don't think I've ever tried them. I've gotten, I've been prescribed like 20 different uh, antidepressants and anti-anxiety meds, antipsychotics. But I've always been worried because the side effect is uh, weight gain. And I have uh, like body image issues, body dysmorphia, or I always pronounce it wrong. People are like, that's not how you pronounce it. I'm like, holy, like, wow, sorry, calm down. So whatever that is, I have been diagnosed with that. So, if something were to say, like, oh, you're going to gain weight from that, it would, I'd be like, uh, I don't know. It might make my brain better, but it might make me gain weight. And you know how much I love being a skinny freak? I don't. So if you have any, I need a